Newton's law of viscosity the key concepts consider a flat plate which is stationary so the velocity of the flat plate is zero that is we can write it as v equal to zero consider a fluid layer which is flowing above the flat plate let a flat plate is above that fluid layer also let the force be applied to move the flat plate is f okay now we are going to use a coordinate system x and y so this is the velocity profile of the fluid layer the me which means that at the point of contact between the fluid and the stationary flat plate the velocity is zero and when we are going up the velocity increases and at a particular height the velocity of the fluid layer will be equal to the upstream velocity of the fluid so the velocity gradually increases from the stationary flat plate surface to the up direction so consider any fluid layer which is at a distance y from the flat plate so the velocity of that point be u consider another point that is y plus dy from the flat plate and the velocity at that point is u plus du which means that the velocity increases from the distance in the distance from the flat plate increases so the newton's law of viscosity states that the shear stress is proportional to the velocity gradient the shear stress we normally denote it by a greek letter symbol tau and it is proportional to velocity gradient we can write it mathematically as tau is proportional to du by dy du by dy is called velocity gradient which means that du is the change in velocity d divided by change in the distance how the velocity increases when the distance from the flat plate increases this du by dy that's velocity gradient indicates that so by you can we can write it by using a equation by using a constant mu and the mu is called coefficient of viscosity so again shear stress we can again call a shear stress is proportional to shear strain rate that is tau is proportional to d theta by dt it is also another form of newton's law of viscosity so we can write it as an equation as tau is equal to mu into d theta by dt okay shear stress we can write it as shear force by area so from all these equation we can compute the shear force also okay mu is called coefficient of viscosity and the unit of coefficient of viscosity is newton second per meter square or newton per meter square we know it is pascal that is we can write it as pascal second in cgs unit the unit is dyne second per centimeter square or it is also called poisson so in conversion one poisson is equal to 0.1 newton second per meter square the viscosity of water is 1 centi poisson at 1 degree celsius which means 1 centi poisson means 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 poisson that is 10 raised to minus 3 newton second per meter square there is another term called kinematic viscosity we denote it by using greek letter simple nu it is the ratio of dynamic viscosity and de density of the fluid so if we know the dynamic viscosity we can find the kinematic viscosity by dividing with it with density of the fluid the unit of kinematic viscosity is meter square per second or cgs unit is centimeter square per second or it is also called stocks so one stocks is 10 raised to minus 4 meter square per second so what are the reasons for viscosity the viscosity is mainly due to two reason cohesion and molecular momentum transfer cohesion between the molecules that is the attractive force between the molecules is this reason is mainly in liquids but in case of gases the molecular momentum transfer or collision is a reason so when the collision increases the viscosity of the gases increases the viscosity is related with the temperature so when we are mentioning the viscosity we need to mention the temperature also so viscosity increases with the temperature increase for gases due to increased collision at a higher temperature when the temperature increases the kinetic energy of the gases will increase so there will be much more collision so when the collision increases the viscosity of the gases all 
will also increase but in case of liquids when increasing the temperature the viscosity decreases which means that the cohesive force between the molecules decreases with the increase in temperature that means the viscosity decreases that is why when we are heating some liquid it will easily flow viscosity is a resistance to flow so when we are heating the liquid its viscosity will decrease so it will easily flow so these are the key concepts from newton's law of viscosity thank you for watching